W-Z-L-X High Lily, High Low La La Hi ladies! <laughs> Chuck Nolan Show, 2 o'clock Chuck Nolan with Carlos Santana on Boston's classic rock 100.7 W W not double W Z L X. Oh. Hey, Carter. Babe, talk to me. Where are you? Aw, oh, man, traffic's a bear. Put on uh, Inagata Devita, the live version. That'll buy me like 20 minutes or so. I told you to be here on time today. I had a very special friend I wanted you to meet. Carter, I've met a lot of your special friends through the years, and to be honest with you, they kind of scare me. The plow guy, the vegetarians, the religious group selling eggs. You want to hear scary? You're missing Steven Tyler, who dropped by to wish you a happy 25th anniversary. Ah! He's running a little late. What the hell is going on here? Steven Tyler, Steven Tyler, Steven Tyler. Well, I, I, I guess being in this business for 25 years does earn you some respect, doesn't it, Carter Allen? <laughs> well, why are we slowing down? Look, I know you gotta go. Uh, let's not wait for him. Let's do your announcement now. Stay calm, stay calm. Steven Tyler, he'll wait, he'll wait. He's on rock star time. It's a different time than ours. And now I'm stopping. Why are we stopping? I'm locked and cocked right now, I'm on fire. You just gotta make sure you don't drop the F-bomb. Steven Tyler, still here. Steven, how you doing? Ow! How you been? I've been so good. What's that on your arm? Give me that tambourine. Hey, Chucky Nolan, don't you sing a song for me. I ain't sleepy, and there ain't no place hey, we ain't Steven torn Tyler. in the summer. Hey, Chucky Nolan, won't you? Chuck, get out of here. 
Oh my God, he wants me to play tambourine with the Aerosmiths. Just like I did in 2006, a command performance. <laughs> Never heard that sound before. Probably just a power surge. Power fail. No, no! Stupid electric car! Chuck Nolan, CBS Radio. My, my car died. I got, I got to get to 83 Leo Birmingham Parkway. Steven Tyler's waiting for me. You think you want some ice cream? Uh, are you going to give me a ride or what? All right, get it. Punch it! So, are you cool if I go back and grab a Choco Taco for the ride? Uh, thanks! Can you play the music? What do you have, the classics, the entertainer, oh Susanna? Oh, that's what I'm talking about! You know, I never caught up to one of these things before. Have a good day. Oh, man, can't this thing go any faster? Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? We can't stop now. The Ice Cream Man Creed. Never pass a child by. These are children. Chuck, there's a child in all of us. No! 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 I don't want to stop! Watermelon? Can I get you, boys? Snow cone. Bomb pop, the original. Sour Patch Kids. Hey, I got this. I got oh, this. No, oh, no, they got Chocolate Tacos. That's my favorite. Nah, Bomb you, pop. You, what, what do you want? You I don't know. How about a Nutty Buddy? Nutty Buddy's yeah, good. I'm, I'm allergic to nuts and gluten and... Uh, a Bomb Pop. Bomb Pop. Red always... 40, it's the red food color. It's just not, it's not right, natural. Look, here, take some napkins. <laughs> here you go. Cool Cal, thanks for your business. Now, get back to work. Go on, we gotta go. Come on, John, we gotta go. Hey, what are you gonna do? And that show can't be a good show. Hey! No, no, he's in a hurry, in a hurry, I see here, huh? I, yeah, I got Steven Tyler waiting in the studio. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do we have here? Choco Taco, Chuck? Don't worry, we'll let you through to meet with your little rock and roll friend. Just tell us where the stash is. There is no stash. I bought this. Come on, you, you expect us to believe that? You bought it? We work in radio too, Chuck. We all thrive on free swag around here. Look, I gotta get in there. Here, take the snow cone. We don't, those are called empty calories. We're not interested in those, okay? Cooperate with us. You don't want to leave your little rock and roll friend in there waiting now, do you? I got it from the cool cow. He's right out front. I got it. Cool yeah. cow, huh? <laughs> what is that? Some sort of black and white market supplier? No, it's the ice cream man. He's right out front. Come on, Chuck. You expect us to believe? Ice cream man! Tyler, as I live and breathe. Glad you could make it to your own radio show. 25 years on CLX and you still can't get here on time. He's gone? And if you just told me Steven Tyler was coming in today, I wouldn't have gone to the massage parlor. Massage parlor? Oh yeah, in the next episode of Chuck TV, I get a massage. Why? That doesn't sound funny. No, it really isn't that funny, but I did need a massage. So, Aerosmith wants me to play tambourine again? That was the original offer, but since you insulted him by not showing up, he rescinded, and now he's going to offer it to Tony Maserati. Sports Hub? You're going to be joking! Maz doesn't know how to rock the tambourine like I do. He listens to old tapes of Johnny Most, and he thinks it's music. My hands are tied. My body bruised. She's got me with nothing to win and nothing left to lose. This is bullshit! And why are you quoting me U2 lyrics? I'm the freaking host of Chuck TV. It's my 25th anniversary, damn it. If it's in you, it's got to come out. That's what rock and roll is all about. Thanks, Wolfa Goofa. Hi, ZLX. Is this Chuck Nolan? Yes, it is. Hey, man, it's an honor to talk to you. Oh, come on. I'm just a regular guy, just like you. I put my pants on one leg at a time. I've been listening to you forever, like... When I was growing up, I remember hearing you in the car. So your dad probably listened too. Oh yeah, and before that, his dad used to listen to you, and now I'm a grown man, and I still listen to you. 
not as much as I used to. I, I like to try new things. But anyway, I was wondering if you had the number to the Felger and Mash show. Have a nice show. Hello? You know, no one's really pushing his luck with these Chuck TV concepts. 60 minutes of a full body massage. I've seen things. Yeah. I felt kind of dirty just being there. Especially when he asked me to zoom in on his lower back. You know, the last episode of Chuck TV only got 200 views on Facebook. I think it's losing its momentum. Yeah, I mean, is it even really worth it at this point? <clears throat> it's making the rest of my work day really stressful. You're his producer. You have to talk to him. Maybe he doesn't want to do it anymore either. Just don't do it when I'm around. I don't handle conflict well. I'm getting stressed just thinking about it. Relax, Lee. It's nothing to get worked up about. Except that it's saying memory card corrupt. What? 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 No! 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 What are you doing? My doctor says it helps me regulate my breathing when I'm stressed. Calm down. Mike, talk to Chuck. Let him know we got nothing and maybe it's time we put Chuck TV to rest. No problem, but not today. I need to ask him for a ride home later and I need him in a good mood. Hey, Chuck Nolan, afternoon drive, how you doing? Greg Daniels, afternoon drive for the ladies. Listen, a lot of guys listen to Mix 1041, Chuck. Yeah, and a lot of women love the voice of Getty Lee and Rush, too. Well, we know that's not true. And there's a buzz going around the station that you stood up Steven Tyler today. Yeah, I, I got hung up on the way in. It's, it's a long story. I'm guessing it involves explosive diarrhea? No, it's chocolate. Wow, rough day. You know, Chuck, stars of this magnitude aren't often in the building here. Yeah, not since Bono dropped by during the U2 tour to be a special guest on Chuck TV. Funny, I don't remember that one. Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. I was so stressed out getting ready for that interview. He's here now? Yeah, he's here. What, uh, what's, it, what's the album with the tree on it? The Jones it's tree? Fine. The Joshua tree. You'll be fine. Oh, there's Chuck Nolan now. He's all ready for the interview. Wow, that bike accident really took its toll on him. Could I just, before we start, get a quick selfie? Hey, just no touching. Back off, man. All right, all right. Um, should I call you by your real name, Dave Evans, or? Just go, we'll go by Bono. Is, you're not very good at this, are you? Yeah, well, no, it's Bono's good. Bono, can we get your autograph? Really quick, really quick. Super quick. Thank you. Of course, I go way back old school. The Boy album is one of my favorites. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Bono! Hi, I'm Vanessa. Hello. No. I saw you guys coming down We gotta the hall. go, we gotta do an interview. No! No, this, oh is, my a, god. this is a top 40 station. I'm on air at Amp Radio. Her. No, I'd love to She wouldn't know Bono on. from Flo Rida. Come no, we, we just. What? No, we only have a Wait, couple minutes. Okay, so sit over here. So we have all the guests. Ah, I'm like fangirling out right now. Wait. Seriously? Here. You can have this. That was a huge mistake. That has to go. It's fine. No, thank you. Seriously. If we could just do a real quick reenactment on our roof. It's so cool. Never mind that. If you could just belt out a line or two, you know, rock star post. Where the streets have no name. It'd be so cool. It'd be awesome. I'm really not very good with lyrics. And I'm really not good with heights. Ah, vertigo. I get it. And of course, you know this man who wrote your book on YouTube, Carter Allen. Yeah. Hey. Hey. You know, you can't talk. Hey. Hey. All right. All right. And Carter was at the Saturday show. Wasn't he great? Yeah, oh yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you were Thanks. awesome, man. It's <laughs> great. Good show. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Just one second. Oh, excuse me. Oh, it's this guy. It's Bono. From you too. Come on, it's a superstar, man. <laughs> what? No, it isn't. Well, he had that bike accident. It was a little reconstructive surgery, I think. Well, then he had to lose like six or seven inches off his height. What? Yeah, that's not Bono. Wait a second. Maz set this up. And I recognize you two guys! Jigsaw! Hey! Oh, hey! Maz, you owe me five bucks. Hey, my man! 
Best five bucks I ever spent. Easiest money. No one would know Bono if he took a leak on him. <laughs> hey, Tony. Yeah. Tom Brady's here to see you. Yeah, Tom Brady. Sure. Nolan couldn't do any better than that. Oh, my God. It, it's really him. Oh, my God. He's even better looking than I thought. <laughs> and Maserati thought it was Tom Brady. <laughs> It was just Mark Mingles, the maintenance guy. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't Bono? Oh, no. No, I, I guess not. Oh, geez, I gotta go, my song's running out. Greg, what are you doing? The song's over, we gotta do a break. Oh, shit! <laughs> John Barleycorn must die. That's it for me, Chuck Nolan. I'll catch you again tomorrow afternoon at 2. Kenny Young all set to go with Led Zeppelin and the Stairway to 7. Coming up next. Have a great night. Hey. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? What, did I miss something? What, what, did Keith Richards finally die? No, nobody died. Relax. You just sounded a little tired on my way in. And you've got diarrhea on your shirt. It's Choco Taco. Oh, is that what the kids are calling it these days? Maybe I'm a little tired. Well, it's not easy playing songs for five hours a day, taking calls from crazed listeners, and trying to sound happy and peppy the whole time. I mean... You know, you're right. People don't realize how demanding this job can be. No, they don't. And you've been doing it a long time. What, day in, day out, 25 years? That's a long time. That is a long time. Achieved a lot in those years and should be proud. But maybe it's time. What? I'll take a good hard look. What, retirement? I didn't say retire, but. Maddie is getting pre lube catheters delivered to his house daily and he's still on Kiss every morning. Maybe you could do something else afternoons 2 to 7. In case you didn't notice, I also do a very successful internet TV show. There is that. Wait a minute, I know what you're doing. You can't wait for me to leave so you can take over afternoons. It's all part of your big plan, well, isn't it? stays at the same station for 25 years in a row. That's insane. Homemade cookie? Yeah? Well, consider me crazy because I'm not going anywhere. I'll see you tomorrow. Bide my time, I will. Vengeance will be mine. Hey, Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. Go right home. Why don't you have Kenny Young give you a ride home? Okay, go ahead. Can we? Five hours? Maybe uh, watch some ETV? Why don't you ask him for one of his poison cookies, too? Oh, damn it! I forgot to get my car towed. Jeez. Have a good night, Mr. Nolan. Unlikely. Wait a second. That's not the Jupiter Chuck I know. Well. It's been a day. Look, you gotta laugh it off. That's one of the things I learned from watching episodes of Chuck TV. Really? You, you mean that? Yeah! It's all about the laughter. Does anyone remember laughter? Hey, Chuck. Afternoon, Carter. Another day in paradise. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess. Hey, sorry I'm late, but traffic in this town is as clogged up as Kevin Carlson's arteries. <laughs> Actually, he's lost 30 pounds. He's looking pretty good. 30 pounds? That's like throwing a deck chair off the Queen Mary. <laughs> what is going on? What am I hearing? Oh, we're just punching up Chuck TV by piping in a little canned laughter. Go ahead. Say something funny. Uh, okay. Um, uh, Chuck's TV is my favorite show. <laughs> that wasn't funny. <laughs> Look at all these TVs. What, was Best Buy having a sale? I don't get it. That's just it. With Chuck TV's new canned laughter, you don't have to. Ah, uh, back to my home away from home where I can crank up the tunes and the old battle axe doesn't tell me to turn it down. <laughs> Cue the laugh track. <laughs> that, that's a joke, honey.
Okay, okay, enough with the applause. That's meant for celebrity walk-ons. This is just a sales guy. Hey, we're doing a show here. The general manager wanted me to come in here and let you know that people are having a hard time focusing out there with all the laugh tracks and incidental music that you're playing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like that. Well, tell him if we had some money for better writers, maybe we wouldn't need all these laugh tracks and music. Hey, couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> Watch it, buddy. I write this show. All right, stop hitting the laugh button. Now I'm serious. Knock it off! I'll get to the bottom of this. Where are you? Who's doing this? Yeah, I'm doing it. That's who's doing it. I'm doing it, Chuck. You dink. <laughs> I'm doing it, Chuck. Take that. <laughs> Best episode ever. It's your buddy. It's your buddy because it makes you look like a tool. <laughs> I'm so glad I could amuse you. Hey, Mulaney, yeah. could I could I get a ride to my car? You're hysterical, Chuck. <laughs> I'm really not trying to be. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. I should have my car back tomorrow, but let's not tell the boss about this. Hey, Chuck Nolan, everybody. What are you doing? Afternoon, Joe. Wow, you really do like to keep a clean machine. Chuck, a man's car is his temple. Well, I believe my body is my temple, but okay. Really? Yeah. Chuck, I wax this car every day on my lunch hour. It clears my senses. Oh. Well, I do a little waxing every day myself. Really? As a matter of fact, it's just about that time. Really? So if he can help out a brother, use the hot wax, there'll be an extra tip in it for you. Come on. Chuck, not, not here. 20 minutes in the conference room. I gotta finish the hood. That was a joke, Joe. Oh. Did you uh, see the Pats game the other night? Oh, absolutely. Pats always win when I wear my Tom Brady mask. Chuck, Boston sports teams have talent. They don't need silly superstition to win games. I don't know. I had the Pats on a nine-game winning streak last year thanks to my silly superstition. Ha-ha! <laughs> That's not a joke, Joe. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> oh, oh, what a Jeez. game! Fourth quarter, playing them tight! Steelers are tough, man. I gotta go wash my hands. Dude, wait for a commercial. They screw this game's over. Oh! Ugh, you disgusting. What? You can go wash your hands now. No, dude, they scored because I didn't wash my hands. But Cheeto dust. Oh, yeah. Okay, wash your hands or get out of my house. Well, I guess I'll see you next week. <laughs> Hey, Chachi, got time for a quick game of Flip Your Wig? It's been a while. Chuck, I love playing Flip Your Wig with you, and I'm ready to play the game, but you need to go wash your hands first. Oh, I can't wash my hands. The Pats are more than halfway through a perfect season. I can't mess with that. Dude, you've got weeping boils and open sores, and this is a 1964 collectible. You cannot touch the game with those hands. Well, so go well, and wash them. Go, go hey, wash Hey, is that a new picture of you and Ringo Starr together? Yeah, it is. Oh, uh, Ringo, peace and love. Get out. It's an accident. Get out of my. Right. Get out! We'll of play my... another time. Get out! Go Get out! Get out! Get out! Mark! Mark, what happened? It must have slipped clean in the window. Here, grab my hand. Uh, uh, it's just a couple stories. I'm good.
All right, as you see, this is our studio here. This is where Chuck does his show. Oh, hey, hey. This is uh, Brian from Clean Living Solutions. He's the new sponsor of the Attitude Adjustment Hour. Awesome, Brian, nice to meet you. Ah, watch it, I got a pot boil on that knuckle right away. You mean, was the sponsor. What's new with you? Hey, uh, same old, same What old. the f Chuck, are you kidding me? What? Get, come here. Come what? Here. We're going to take care of this once and for all. No, no. Yes, it's a perfect are. season, you kid. You're going to screw it up now. Hey, man. Let him go. So, will you come on? Really? You think the Patriots are undefeated because Nolan refuses to wash his hands? Of course not. It's because I haven't brushed my teeth all season. And if somebody didn't notify the Board of Health, they would have gone undefeated. Chuck, I hate to cut this short, but I gotta wax my undercarriage. Oh, God. I hope he's talking about his car. Oh, I mean to talk to you. The latest episode of Chuck TV had some issues. Well, yeah, I know. That's why I'm going to talk to our marketing director. This guy's the best. He's going to get us some pub, and Chuck TV is going to explode. What is pub? Publicity. That's what they say on Real Housewives. Well, listen, I was thinking that maybe it was time that we could fit me. Great. Give Lisa my best. We'll be there on time. We're looking forward to it. Uh, sit down. OK. Take care. Bye-bye. So how's my favorite host of Beatles for Breakfast? It's breakfast with the Beatles. So how's my favorite host of Chuck's TV? It's Chuck TV. No S. Right, right. So, what brings you by today? I have no time to play Flip Your Wig. Oh, well, coincidentally, it's about Chuck TV. Oh, you're still doing those? Yes, I'm still doing those. But I think it's in need of a bit of a promotional push. You know, something to really broaden the base. Okay, so look, I was talking to the boss the other day. Ah, Mike Thomas is fine with us doing these. Just as long as it doesn't interfere with my radio show. Well, he thinks it has, and this is your 25th anniversary, and he thinks you need to focus on your show. <sighs> Look, all I'm asking for is a little press. Something to get the word out that there's quality, creative programming being made right here in our own backyard. You could use your connections to get him to show it at the garden before games. Or during Bruins timeouts. I think that scary bear just too much for kids anyway. The Boston Garden? Mm. I don't think so. Oh, come on. Okay, I'll tell you what I can do. I just got off the phone with the producer from Boston Live, with Lisa Hughes. I love that show. I watch it every night right after Cupcake Wars. And she'd like to have you on at the end of the show to talk about your 25 years with WZLX. Are you serious? And promote Chuck TV? No, I said 25 years with WZLX. That's the feature. Yeah, 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 yeah. When is it? Tomorrow night. Live TV, baby! Make us proud, buddy. Remember, you're there to talk about your 25 years with WZLX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta run. I got some exfoliating to do. If you've ever listened to that show, you already know that because uh, Chuck's an airhead. That's really what it comes down to. But again, it'll be me. Not Chuck Nolan playing tambourine with Aerosmith because he had his head up his ass and was late for his interview with Steven Tyler. Ha! What a dope. Okay, so that aside, when we come back, we'll continue talking baseball. 617-779-0985 right here on the Baseball Reporters. What? I'm trying to do a show. What do you want? Really? With all the sports talk in this town, that's your breaking news? Uh, more like ball-busting news, but yes, Chuck, yes. Okay, okay. Well, good luck keeping time with that tambourine. Been there, done that, and honestly, I'm kind of tired of carrying that band. Well, dream on, Chuck. There's a new Mr. Tambourine Maz in town. Me. <laughs> Gloat all you want, but I don't see you appearing on Boston Live with Lisa Hughes tomorrow night. It's a feature piece. Oh, yeah? Well, you better show up on time this time. Or maybe they'll ask me. <laughs> Boob. You know, you sound a lot less bald on the radio. The sign of intelligence, Chuck. Donkey. 
Oh, the man of the hour. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Hardy, do me a favor and keep my personal issues out of your Sports Hub news bites. Sports Hub headlines, and I, I would never do that to you. Look, Maz has no respect for the rich tradition of rock radio or your position within that rich tradition. Wait a second, are you busting my balls now too? Why would I do that? We're rock radio brethren. We are? Oh, soon they forget. WBCN, 2005 to 2009, I was your competition. You were the Cosmic Muffin. Oh man, I used to love it when you'd say, Uranus is retrograde today. <laughs> the Cosmic, what? Hey, I gotta roll. Catch me on Boston Live with Lisa Hughes tomorrow night. I'm gonna be center stage. Ugh, not this again. What? Well, the last time you thought you were getting your big shot on Channel 4, it just, it really didn't go that way. Oh yeah. Finally, respectability. The powers that be at CBS Television have invited me to be the brand new entertainment reporter, WBZ TV 4 News, 11 o'clock, starting tonight. Oh, Gil. I need you, man. I need your power! That's right, Lisa. Tonight at the Boston Garden, the Rolling Stones played on their zip code tour, and Mick Jagger, despite his 70 plus eight. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you authorized to be in here, sir? Yes, I'm the new entertainment reporter, Chuck uh, Nolan. Uh, I start tonight. On the list, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah, Nolan. No, no. N O W L I N. All the world to stage. We are merely players. Ready for your close-up? Yeah, let's go. Right. You ever seen the movie long? Yeah. This is where they shoot it. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're part of this history. This is cool. He's naughty. Sign this form right here. Okay. And you know what? You're not going to get sick once this year. No, I'm not that nervous. No, no. I mean, we're here for your annual flu shot. No, I don't do the flu shot. No, no, you do. You do. You need the flu shot. No, you don't. Come you on. just you gotta Come use Purell. Come on, Chuck. Let's no. go. No, I got a I got an entertainment report. I got No, Chuck, there's no entertainment. No, I got no. 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 I don't want a shot. Barry Burbank? You're the weather guy. I know, but you know, the company's cutting back and uh, you know, I I gotta try and fill in all the gaps. Oh wait, wait, I, I'm allergic to eggs. You are? Yeah, well, the hard-boiled ones give me gas. Well, let's get on with this. I, I got a low-pressure center. I got to follow up the combs. Ow! Oh, we got a bleeder here. I think I'm having a reaction. There's a lot of colors swirling. Is that normal? Are you hearing Hendrix, or is that just me? That's just you. Freaking Burbank, he should stick to giving weather forecasts instead of sticking fellow employees. Yeah, but he's making great strides in developing that Zika vaccine. <laughs> well, make no mistake, this time I'm making it count. It's a feature piece. You know, my show was pretty popular. It was a tough time in alternative radio. It wasn't my idea to play Chili Peppers 12 times a day. Sports Hub Golf Club, Saturday mornings. Did I just hear Channel 4 is doing a feature piece on Chuck Nolan tomorrow night? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm hearing. I'm surprised they let him back in the building after that Jack Williams incident. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, I'm telling you now. Uh, say it. No! Say it! Uh, I'll break your arm! No! Say it! I mean it! Uh, all right, all right! Walter Cronkite was a better anchor than Dan Rather! Oh! Oh! oh. Punk. Oh! Shut it off. Shut it off! Hello? Send? Send?
Ugh, this day is dragging. Do you want to go get a coffee or something? Yeah. Like, maybe that'll dying. take us some time. Oh crap, it's Jeff Miller. Don't. Um, so, um, Allison! Alicia! It's so good to I'm see you. I'm Allison. And I'm Alicia. Oh. I'm so sorry. I get it confused. I have this uncle Elijah, and I call him Alicia. Alicia, and when I see you, I think it... of your uncle. Yeah. No. Uh, can one of you help me fax this over to Channel Four? I can't figure out how that machine uh, works. Yeah, sure. No, I'm doing a few minutes. Thank you. Sort of stay on the middle of something. Okay. So thanks. So coffee. Let's yeah, we'll get a like, coffee. Like we have like five minutes. We so, can... so you're probably wondering why I'm sending a seven-page essay on my life achievement over to Channel Four. <laughs> No, not really. Lisa Hughes is doing a feature piece on me and my 25 years at WZLX live TV. Not too nervous. It's it's going to be on around 10:25. You guys are flipping around tomorrow night. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, wish I had cable. When's it going to be on Netflix? If you could, if you just fax that over, it'd be great. Okay, he's gone. Yeah. Is it just me, or does Chuck's weight fluctuate? Like, a lot. I know, right? It's like watching a movie with bad continuity. Do you think he's ill? Maybe a tapeworm? I once walked in on an episode of Chuck TV, and he was putting on his bathing suit. <sighs> a lot of people don't understand the stress that's involved in doing an afternoon radio show. I have a special way to relax each day before the show. I head down to the banks of the River Charles, I clear my mind, I take in the surroundings. It's like it renews my soul. I think the river gets a bad rap. That water is not dirty water. It really gets the blood flowing and gets the creative juices going. By two o'clock, I'm ready for that show. So if you'll excuse me now, I have to get my swim trunks on. Chuck, you've got a call on. Oh, mother of God! I don't know what this is. Look, baby it's a baby f***ing wheel, man! Holy shit, we are witnessing a baby f***ing wheel right here, dude! Holy shit. That thing is big, Jay! What is that thing? It looks hurt! Get out of here! Oh my god, that Get thing out. looks dead, man! I'm fine! Oh! Ah! Crap! That thing looks hurt, Jay! Oh. Holy oh. Look at this f***ing thing! Oh, that's better. Oh my god, Jay! Oh. oh my god. Jay, that is still good meat on that fish, kid. Am I lying? <sighs> this is crazy. So good. Jay, let's get it! Look at that thing! Oh my god! Oh, that sounds like an episode I'm glad I missed. Yeah. It's got to be a tapeworm. juice for you. Just remember we're saving the sea turtles every time we do this. Well, tonight's the night. It sure is, my little brother. Are you excited? Oh, I didn't sleep a wink last night. Ah, you're so happy. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, hey John. Whoa, you going to a funeral? Why would you assume that? You make me feel like I dress like a schlub all the time. I'm just trying to be sensitive, man. Boston Live with Lisa Hughes is doing a feature piece tonight on my 25 years at WZLX. Live TV! Hey, you sure you're ready for that? What do you mean? Well, certain appearance on Hollywood Squares comes to mind. Yeah, stop it! No, that was a long time ago. I, I don't crack under pressure like that anymore. All right, it's your funeral. Hey, listen, Chuck. Don't listen to him, okay? You'll be fine. Just stay on point. You're good. Oh, 
Chachi, do you mind if I lay down and take a quick nap before I go on the air? I'm a little freaked out about how I'm gonna look tonight. My face gets really puffy when I get tired. Sure, knock yourself out. I'm going out to grab some lunch. You have the office to yourself, okay? Get some rest. Sleep in peace, my friend. Just a quick 40 winks, just, just take the edge off. Just a few minutes, just. Matthew, in which popular TV series did Dr. McCoy utter variations of his classic line, I'm a doctor, not a miracle worker? <laughs> uh, St. Elsewhere. For a tie game. I'll agree. Oh! You're a disc jockey, not a game show contestant! Chuck, you're late for class. There's a test today. You haven't gone all semester. Oh my, uh, my uh, macroeconomics class, what, what room is that? What's the combination? 1877K. Hey, Nolan, you skipping my gym class? You say you want to play sports? I'm sorry, Mr. Zoe, I got a test I gotta take. I'll give you a test. Stop! You're making me sound like mass! Hey, Chuck! I'm glad you wore your jock strap! Where you going? Get back here! This, there's nothing on the paper. This, there's nothing. What do I... Okay, please put your pens and pencils down. This is now the oral part of the exam. We're gonna start alphabetically. We'll go from the middle. Shuffle. Please tell me which section of the Flip Your Wig Game rule states that if a Beatles game piece is missing, you must use your own tool. Uh, section 1877 cut. Oh, my tool came out. Who is that? It's Ringo. I don't know who that is. Go see the principal. No! Relax. It's the quiet part in the Pink Floyd song. Oh, do me a favor. Could you watch things here? I'm a wreck. I just gotta. Sure. I gotta freshen oh, up. I'll throw some water on or something. Oh. Oh my God! I look like David Lee Roth. Bozzy, bozzy, bop, di bop, ah. Place of legends, boys. Breathe it in. Oh, I can still smell Jack Williams' Aquanet. They said to just wait in here. So, Mike, where are we at with the latest Chuck TV? Is it posted yet? Well, uh... No, we're not here to talk about Chuck TV. Oh, I'd like to mention it, though. There were some problems with the footage. What? Oh, the back hair? I knew I shouldn't have asked him to zoom in. Chuck, they're ready for you in the studio. Keep it light and fun. Lee, I'm in the business of light and fun. Or is it dark and mysterious? 
Good luck. He'll need it. And finally this evening, a voice that has become synonymous with classic rock in Boston is celebrating 25 years at the same radio station. Chuck Nolan of WZLX. Chuck, congratulations. Thank you, Lisa. It's a pleasure to be here. After so all far, so good. Years, well, at least he got her name right. Standing around at a bar, drinking beer, playing songs on that Chuck's Beer Hall. Do you ever get in a rut? That's uh, Chuck's Bar and Grill. But uh, that's only part of what I do. But no, I find ways to keep things fresh. Well, I mean, I'd imagine you'd have to after 25 years at the same old job. Yeah, well, time has flown, but... Uh, uh, and I hate to cut you off, but you also have um, this little internet show called Chuck TV. No, no, no. Well, no, if you no. want to call over 500 Facebook views a little internet show. I do, yeah. seen that look before. When? Remember Hollywood Squares? Oh, when he confused Star Trek with St. Elsewhere. Focus, Chucky, focus. Well, that, that's just one of the things that I do to really stretch creatively. I'm actually working on a really big project right now. Uh, I really, I can't say too much about it, but I can say this, it's going to be huge. Well, that is too bad that you can't talk about it because that would actually make this a lot more interesting. Uh, I'm making a movie! <laughs> That's funny you said it so loudly. It sounded like you said, I'm making a movie. Yeah, yeah. I, well, it's, it's one of those things that's always been in me. Uh, ever since I was on stage in high school in Greece, it's, it's just something, as we say in the movie business, if it's in you, it's got to come out. That's what movie making is all about. <laughs> and you don't seem like you're joking at all, so clearly you're serious about this. Who's, who's producing your film? A couple guys, studios. Uh, we've got a, a budget, it's an indie. We've got a green light. Other uh, than you, right. is there anyone in the movie whose name we might know? <laughs> Stars and celebrities. Uh, we've signed big celebrities and stars. I, I can't tell you who. I, again, I've said too much as it is right now. Well, maybe you could uh, give us some idea what the movie would be called and, and when it will hit theaters. It's called Chuck TV, the movie. Chuck TV, the movie, coming soon to a theater near you, so stay tuned. Chuck TV, the movie, coming soon. Chuck, thanks for joining us today, and, and good luck. I won't need it. <laughs> hey, what's up with him? The same thing that's wrong with all of us. Pure and utter panic. Who do you think's gonna make this movie? Little fairies in the night? Hey, it's a little insensitive, don't you think? We were just about to tell you that we don't want to do any more episodes of Chuck TV. Well, then it's the perfect time to make a movie! <laughs> I am going to kill you! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Calm down, everybody. Let's think about this rationally. Be sure to let us know when the movie's going to premiere, and we'll promote it on the show. Oh, sure. Probably a, a few weeks. We don't have a firm date yet. A movie. I did not see that coming. Who would? <laughs> Talk soon. Text from Mike Thomas. See me first thing tomorrow morning. Damn. Nice working with you, pal. Oh, shorting out his car's electric system was weak. I mean, all it did was make him a little late for work. I mean, I need something that's, that's going to make him really late. No, no, I mean really late. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, brake cables? Oh, hey, listen, I, I gotta go, man. Keep those wrenches spinning. Hey, Night Rocker, you're here early? Yeah, lunch with the boss. Uh, loaded tots, hot dogs. Did he uh, happen to say anything about my TV appearance last night? No, but I think the movie's a fantastic idea. Oh, man, I appreciate that. I have to admit, I have my doubts I can pull it off, but... Well, you know, in this business, it's all about taking risks. So what if Mike Thomas wants to kill you for doing it? You know what? Screw him. He wants to kill me? I, I thought you said he didn't bring it up. Oh, he didn't. I did. 
Uh, but you know what? Uh, never mind that. Listen, I've held you up long enough. Uh, listen, I gotta go sleep off this food coma that I'm in. Good talk. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock. Close the door. Have a seat. Hey, look, if this is about last night, I wasn't going to say anything about Chunk TV, but then she said it first, and then she's like, oh, it's some little internet show. And you know how these journalists are with their gotcha questions? I felt like I was, I was in a box, and I had to say something to make myself seem important. And it was on TV anyway. Nobody watches that anymore. I'm sure nobody saw it. Listen, I'll take care of the media frenzy that you've stirred up by blabbering about this to everybody. But Chuck, you're a DJ. You've been a DJ for 25 years. At this point, you're not gonna be anything else other than a DJ. Enough with the Chuck TV. It's interrupting your radio show. It's disrupting productivity throughout the building. You're always filming around the hallways. You need to stop. The plug has been pulled. No more with this movie. You got it? Got it. No, I won't say another word about it. Very hush hush. You're not making a movie. Right, it'll be more of a long form talking picture. Listen, I know you were Boston's most eligible bachelor in the 70s, but you're not making this movie enough. Wow, that was, that was powerful. Have you ever done any acting? No movie. Say it. I am not making a movie. We're making a movie! Is Mike Thomas okay with that? Hard to tell. Come on, you guys, what's wrong with you? If Ben Affleck and Matt, uh... Damon? Damon can do it, how hard can it be? We don't have Ben Affleck, and we don't have a script, we don't have a budget, we don't have anything. How do you like them apples? They give me the win something terrible. But look, we got four radio stations in this building with people pretending to be someone they're not. Actors! All right, either I'm smelling Chuck's gas or it's the pungent stench of desperation. Mike, put out an email tomorrow. Company-wide, open auditions at noon. Say we're looking for the next uh, Benedict Cumberbund type. I'm going to kill you. Screen test. Get your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! Stinking paws off me. You damn dirty ape. Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Godfather. No, Two? No, you just say the line. I wish I knew how to quit you. You talking to me? You talking to me? You complete me. You complete me. Bond. James Bond. Now, which Bond? I mean, there have been like a Daniel Craig. Bond. James Bond. But then you have, you know, uh, Bond. James Bond. I could do Michael Caine doing James Bond if that's something you want me to do. Hey! Stella! Hey, Stella. Stella! More? I'll have what she's having. I am your father. Ooh, I'm your dad. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Yo, Adrian! Yo, Adrian! Hey. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista. It's not Al Pacino. Can you do it like the Terminator would do it? Hua! Hasta la vista, baby. Go ahead. Make my day. You had me at hello. You had me at hello. You had me at hello. E.T. Phone. Show me the money. We're not paying for this. What are you doing, Bob? It's a bear attack. I, my leg's all ripped up and... From the Revenant. I have no acting experience, but am I good? Well, we've been at it for three days, and present company excluded, there's a dearth of talent in this building. Well, I beg to differ. I don't see any talent here at all. That's what dearth means. And Carlson and McKenzie were the only DJs to show up? Well, we're using their office. Well, we're not going to be walking the red carpet with a cast like that. This movie needs star power. Think of the best episodes of Chuck TV. What do they have in common? They're under three minutes. Star power. Hello, everybody. I'm Graham Nash. 
You are watching Chuck TV. They can't sing for shit, but you are watching Chuck TV. Just a song before the show. We call it Chuck TV. I'm out of here. Sorry about that. I, David, Stephen. Hey, we got Ozzy Osbourne of Black Sabbath on the phone. Ozzy. Greetings from Boston. Oh, uh, it's one of my favorite cities, Boston. And actually, the medical thing there is brilliant. Yeah, I had uh, I have, I have this hereditary Parkinson's tremor. And I found a guy in Boston who, who did these tests on me, and he got me on some medication, and that sort of helped for me. You know, that, 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 that's blown my mind. I mean, I've never in, uh, been my Black Sabbath years and uh, the uh, solo years. I've never, ever had a number one in the United States. And, it's only taken 45 years to go number one. I mean, I mean, I mean, number one in Canada, America, England, Germany. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. No, I mean, I mean, I, 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 I keep want to pinch myself to see if I'm asleep. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I thought it was a, a good album. But I was said in one of my earlier press releases that, to me, this album was one of the most important albums of my career. Hey. I just read Don Henley's going to be in town for Walden Woods' benefit. Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, member of the Eagles, we go way back. Let me make a call. That'll go well. What do you mean? Well, you really worked your magic with William Shatner. I had to trade one of my screen-used tribbles from episode 15 to the president of the Star Trek fan club to beam down that interview. Chuck. William! How are you? I'm well. How are you? Oh, well. Listen, Bill, I really appreciate you calling me from your private jet. There's something on the wing. <laughs> anyway, I got a big budget movie going on here. I'm a little tight on cash at the moment, but I can definitely get you points on the back end and a slice of the merchandising. <laughs> I would be so honored to have the great Captain James T. Kirk share the screen with me. <laughs> Shut. Stop laughing and listen to me. It's William Shatner. I don't want to be in your stupid movie. I don't want to be with you stupid at all. Leave me alone and stop calling me. And, and Is it because I botched the Star Trek question on Hollywood Squares? Uh, stop calling me. That whole fiasco cost me an invite to George Takei's wedding. Oh my. Look, it's different with Don. We go way back! Hey Chuck! Oh! Kind of surprised me there, guy. How you doing? TJ from 103.3 Amp yeah. Radio. I host the TJ show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We met that time you helped me with my leg cramp without me asking. Stretch it out. Oh, 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 oh. So I heard you're writing a movie. Yeah. Did you know that I'm a scriptwriter? No. I wrote a movie for you. No pressure. Just check it over. And if you need anything else from me, let me know. And I'm here. Hey, thanks. I'll be sure to take a look at it. It's good to see you again, Chuck. Good to see you too. Yeah. <laughs> well, that didn't take very long. I just got a call from the Hotel California. The warm smell of Kalitas is coming right off the phone. The one and only Don Henley just called. I missed it, but Don left a voicemail. Hey Chuck, it's Don Henley returning your call. Um, just wanted to let you know that I'm not doing your movie and stop calling me. Tree hugger. He's already gone. Hey, Desperado. Why don't you come to your senses? Are you okay? No, I just pushed that one. You called me. It's an emergency. What's wrong? Oh, did I say emergency? I yeah. meant to say urgent. I get those words confused sometimes. No, you said emergency, and I was at a party with Tony Bennett all night. Wow. Knights of Columbus, lots of fun. I get an emergency call from you, and you're at the golf course. I know it's early, but... What's going on? I wanted to congratulate you on your audition yesterday. It was fantastic. Yeah? I'm considering you for the role of Marcello, really? the drug kingpin. Awesome, dude. Is it a big part? Hey, you know, I could shave my head, get one of those tattoos on my face, you know, it would look great. 
we're still in the idea stage right now, but it's cool. Hey, you know, I'm pretty fluent in the language of love. You know, the Italian love thing going, Hey, come bello, San Antonio. I'll make a cake for you, you know? It'll be great. No, don't get me wrong. I love when you do the Dominic the Christmas Donkey song and all, but I need a favor. Yeah, 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 anything. Hey, hey, maybe I should shave my chest, no? I need you to get me some celebrities. Oh, I get it. You just need me for my connections? No, no, I need you for your thespianic grace, but... I need you to get me some star power. You know people. Ringo Starr. He's not doing that much. We'll get right in a caveman scene for him. Or Paul McCartney. If he could do Give My Regards to Broad Street, he could certainly be in my movie. Are you crazy? I'm not asking my friends for favors. Stop. Okay, okay. It doesn't have to be a Beatle, but you got to get me some real names to put on the poster. Something to really make it pop. All right, all right. I'll think about it. Jeez. Hey, when am I going to see a script? Ooh, script. Over social media, are the rumors true? Are you making a movie? What the? Look, Levin, you know how this Hollywood business is. I, I can't really comment one way or the other right now, but let's just say uh, we've been very busy. How big is this movie going to be, Chuck? Oh, big. We've got a budget that, is, uh, as far as budgets go, big. Uh, what the? I know hell? you're going to ask me about full frontal nudity. Sure, sure. That was the no next one, question. I'm going to kill makes you. Uncomfortable. Should my people get in contact with your people? Well, my people can ton contact your people, and then your people can contact me back. Well, there's a lot of contact going on. It's Hollywood, yeah. baby. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So, apparently, to make a movie, you need a script. So I brought you all in here today because I consider you the most creative and intelligent minds in the building, or you just want to get out of doing your actual job. So let's throw some ideas around. And remember, there's no bad ideas. Do you guys mind if I crack open a can of tuna? I haven't had lunch yet. That's a bad idea. So let's hear some plot lines. Come on. Well, why don't you just make it easy on yourself and make a documentary about you making the movie? Welcome to the nerve center of a motion picture in progress. The writer's room where the seeds of cinematic inspiration sprout into fantastical plot lines to be harvested and sold at box offices worldwide. It is here that ideas are furiously shared, combined, and morphed into new and better concepts until the perfect script is crafted. Okay, you. I'd prefer to keep the curtain closed on the behind the scenes magic. What if we go the horror route? I'm listening. So there's this clown that lives in the woods. I'm not listening, no, no clowns, no. Okay, okay, there's this guy who loves birthday traditions. Now birthday traditions, that's something I can get behind. It all starts when he's a child. Happy birthday, Chucky! Well, we got a special surprise for you. Can you say hi to Mr. Crinkles the Clown? Say hi, Clown. Hi. How are you? Hey, it's the birthday boy. Uh, Casey, I was just heading to the Jock Lounge to set up for our traditional game of pin the tail on the Chucky. Oh, yeah. I just joined PETA, so yeah. I'm not going to do that anymore. But it's tradition. Hey, Chuck. Happy birthday, my friend. Thank you, Happy Chuck. Happy birthday to you. I've been looking forward to this all day. Our traditional birthday round and flip your wig. Um, I can't really do that. I have Zolak coming in. I have a game schedule with him. So. Zolak? Yeah. But it's a tradition. <sighs> so, if you don't mind. Chuck, Dr. Buchanan is on line one. Oh, I know what this is about. Dr. B! Happy birthday. You must be calling about our traditional round of golf. How's April looking? Uh, actually, I'm kind of booked up through spring, Chuck. But it's a tradition. <sighs> actually, I'm calling about scheduling your colonoscopy. You know, it's... Oh, gotta go! Chuck, boss wants to see you in the conference room on the double. What did I do? Oh, the conference room. That big room that holds lots of people. 
I gotta practice my surprise face. <gasps> All right, here I am. I think I handled that pretty well. I, I don't like it. That's a bad idea, Adam. All right, let's think big. Not big talk, but big, cinematic. Okay, how about this? We all know you feel a little threatened around a certain sports hub personality. What? Feel threatened? It's, it's wedgie time, I, buddy. No, I, I yeah. No, get I, back here. Oh. 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 Ah, tender. You could make it like one of my favorite movies of all time. Formerly the site of the movie loft with Dana Hershey. This is Fast Freddy thanking you for joining us on this interactive journey through CBS Radio. But we saved the best for last. Oh, damn it. I just spilled iced coffee all over the script. Can we finish this recording later? Okay, well, this is just a prototype recording of the narration. But I think that the new updated listener tour of the CBS Radio studios, it's going to have a much stronger impact. Well, Freddy said we're saving the best for last. And here we are driving through the parking lot. What's so great about this? Oh, this, this is where the hormones rage, just outside those Sports Hub studios. This is where we see the dinosaur of pro football in his natural habitat. <laughs> Does Zolak know we're referring to him as a dinosaur? That's weird. This is the best part. What are you talking about? I knew Zolak was a juicer. If we don't move, we won't get wedgied. No, I, I knew enough not to wear any underwear on this tour. I got an idea. Coors Light? Exactly. The silver bullet. No, what? What are you doing? Get back, you idiot! What are you doing? No! Coors Stop it right there. I will no longer have my nether regions compromised by a prehistoric bully. You've shot down every idea we've come up with. Why don't you tell us what you want to do? Just something that's... <laughs> anyway, something fresh, something that hasn't what been... What the hell is going on in here? I thought I told you not to make a movie. You have no business making a movie. Stick to something that you're marginally good at, which is radio. You know what? I've had it up to here, or at least here. Watch it, Nolan. With your condescending attitude and complete lack of confidence in my abilities. Oh, we're making a movie, and it's gonna be a blockbuster, and it's gonna knock you on your ass! <laughs> Yeah. What the hell? You just knocked out Mike Thomas. I did? He's not breathing. Nah, we don't have a pulse. Somebody's got to give him mouth to mouth. I just had tuna fish. Chuck, I nominate you. No, I don't have any kind of training for that. Plus, I had no reason to mention this before, but I have a herpetic sore that I got from a backstage encounter at the Def Leppard Hysteria Tour. Somebody needs to call 911. Uh, we've lost him. Time of death is half past the freckle.
Great, Chuck. Still feel like making a movie? We'll call it Making a Murderer Round 2. He instigated it. You all saw. I'm not taking the rap for this. I got it. A prison movie. <laughs> Mike is here. I guess we are having a meeting. Hey, Mike. Mike? Oh my God, he's dead. Tony Maserati killed me. Well, it's a good thing he left a note. That doesn't make any sense. How does he write a note if he's dead? You know, you're right, Heather. But look, it's on stationery. From the desk of Chuck Nolan. Well, you know that can't be true. Chuck doesn't have a desk. What difference does that make? Obviously, Chuck killed him. Call the police! Do we really want to get involved here? You do it, Heather. I got a lot of unpaid parking tickets. Oh! Hello? I'd like to report a murder. Hey, Chuck. Jesus! Yeah. TJ from the TJ Show. I'm yeah. Three, three, I'm yes, I know who you are. Yeah. Have you had a chance to read my script yet? Well, no. I no. It's okay. I wrote another one. This is even better. All this right. is your winner. Uh, I, I'm in the middle. I gotta. All right. I'll see you. Right. Hey! Tell my family I'm innocent. I wouldn't hurt anybody. You guys know that. I'm innocent. Got it? Nolan, you did this, Nolan. I'm gonna kill you, Nolan! Come to the judge, Mazzaroni! Uh, I probably shouldn't have said kill. It's bad. I did a really bad thing. What did you do? Did you take my flip your wig game without asking again? No. Again? Did you? Much worse. What? I'm just gonna come out and say it. Yeah? What? I can't. You can't. I can't. Wah, wah, wah. I can't. Wah, 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 wah. I can't. Wah, 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 wah. I killed my... Hey, Chachi. Thomas! You're really? You Chuck, you stop almost touching me. I'm gonna report you to HR. I, I'm sorry. I must have gotten carried away with one of those fantasy plots from my movie. I'm sorry. Wait, what? Your movie? No. No, no. I, I meant my my movie collection at home. Weekend at Bernie's too is one of my favorites. Look, I got I gotta go. Wow, that makes a pretty good plot line. What? Promotion is open only to legal residents of the 48 contiguous United. I'm cutting the freaking spot, Chucky. I'm sorry, but this is really great news, and I know you're gonna love it. You decided this movie's an impossible dream? Thank you! What? No, no, I want you to be the director. No, 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 no. Mike Pelosi is your show producer. He's your director. No, no. Pelosi's off the project. I don't work well with death threats. Plus, he's not the director type. No, I need somebody who's gonna do what I tell them to do. And right now, you are that guy. That sounds more like an enabler. Besides, we don't have a script, and if you think I'm directing a movie based on a bunch of Chuck TV flashbacks, you're dead wrong. Hmm. No, don't do it! Stop it! Stop flashing back! Don't do it! All right, all right! We won't do flashbacks. I have another idea. Okay. Three words. Larry, David, Method. No script, just a camera rolling, a bunch of vague concepts, just people being people. Hilarious, right? All right, pardon me if I curb my enthusiasm, but there's got to be more to it than that. I'll go round up some DJs in the building, charge those batteries, and get ready to direct when I tell you. I wish I knew how to quit him. <laughs> Okay, during a break. You guys ready? Okay, yeah. What exactly is happening in this scene? It's the Larry David method. Edgy, spontaneous. I say something, and then they play off of that, and then I play off of what they say. It's real Def Jam stuff. Okay, and they're cool with us just barging in and rolling? Yeah, these guys are professionals. They won that macaroni award. Okay. So that, to the best of my knowledge, is why Sarge is now in prison. Hey, motherfuckers! What the f is going on? We'll be right back. Shit, dude, we're on the air. Wait, 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 wait. We may have found our new Adolfo. What's an Adolfo? 
Come on, guys! Do I really have to stay up here until Roger Goodell gets fired? <laughs> Look, his balls are deflated! Hey, lady, it's cold up here! Chuck is on a quest to get what he sees Wants to see a smiling face on a big movie screen Acting for the camera, he plays the fool He's just waiting for some action and a director's cue Just like they do in the movies But it just isn't that easy And what you get is what you see He's trying hard to keep his profile high Every movie makes design to keep his daydream alive Looking for his break in the brand new scene But it's failure and frustration that ends up on the screen Just like a no-budget movie Where the acting is cheesy But what you get is what you see Sense. Why did you cut that? I, don't know. I really didn't know where that was going, really. Yeah, and what's the motivation? I was emoting. It's called acting. I know acting. I hosted the movie loft on Channel 38 for years. Hey, Chuck! Oh. Oh. TJ from the TJ Show. And Amp Radio. Morning and Amp Radio, yeah. I know, yeah. This doesn't sound like any of the scripts that I gave you. Well, no, TJ, no. That's actually perfect, because I. this is the best of the three. You just read over that. Look, I appreciate all your efforts with your handwritten scripts and everything, Old but... Fashioned. We're really not going to go in that direction. I... The right direction? Look, I'm not in the business of pornography. What? Did you even read the script? I read the titles. What more do I need to see? Captain Love Cannon? It's about an army captain who blasts rock music into war zones to bring world peace. That sounds uplifting. Okay, but Forrest Hump? It's about a wood nymph who overcomes his bad posture and stands up for something he believes in. Ah. Asablanca? Oh. Okay, I plagiarized one porn movie script, but there's a twist in the end, if you know what I mean. Ooh, go on. All right, that's it. Take five, take ten, I don't care. Just take whatever you want. Chuck, Chuck, come, come on. on. Come back. Diva. Songs up. 100.7 WZLX with you two and bad, a word I use to describe the acting talents of my fellow radio employees. I've probably heard by now, I'm in the process of producing my first feature film. But unfortunately, I'm dealing with the ineptitude of actors who can't act, directors who can't direct, and writers who are, well, non existent, unless you like porn. Really, at this point, I'd be better off just doing this alone to preserve the quality of the final product. But fear not, Chuck Nolan fans. When all is said and done, I will walk tall on that red carpet on premiere night. Oh, and if you're just tuning in at this point, I'll have transcribed all of this to my social media pages for your reading pleasure. But enough of my yakking. Here's Pink Floyd with Keep Talking on CLX. Hey, Pelosi, I'm missing a commercial. Again. Quinn, where's Pelosi? Hello? Nobody in the whole building. I guess I'll do this movie all by myself. I don't need you guys! Lights! Camera!
What's my line? I have no script, just an empty page. What was I thinking? I had a good thing going with a little internet TV show and a few hundred fans. And I let all that success go to my head. Now I've pissed off everyone, and I have no cast, no script, no director, no crew, and no movie. I guess if it's in you, it doesn't necessarily have to come out. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Step inside. Step inside. Hello? Who's there? Just nod if you can hear me. Is there anyone home? Oh, man, I'm losing it. All the songs that I played on ZLX for the past 25 years have come back to haunt me. How do you turn this thing off? Alone again, naturally. Oh, it's so true. I am so alone and so poignant. Wait a minute. I never played Gilbert O'Sullivan on ZLX. Of course not, Chuck. I've come as a source of inspiration. So come on, baby. Finish what you started. Boston radio legend Charles Lacordera? Didn't you perish during the great satellite radio scare of 2000? Silence, you prattling, thick chin, dingling, thin skinned, poor excuse for a DJ. This movie, it's your destiny. It must be made, or they'll have nothing to play at your funeral after party. I'm not dying. I've lost a lot of weight because of the stress. Really? I just assumed you were on the cocaine diet. It was pretty popular back in my day. You're right, though. If I don't make this movie, a part of me will die. But I can't do it alone. I know nobody will work with me. Unless you... Sorry, buddy. I'm just here to read a few lines, you know, for post-production stuff. Besides, I gotta go catch sunset at Kiavakupu Beach. So I know what you can do. Just click your heels three times, hold out your phone, and do Facebook Live. And while you're doing that, say, there's no place like CBS Radio. And then you'll get your crew back. Really? You think that'll work? If not, then you'll probably become the laughing stock of social media, which will probably happen anyway, so. You know what? Good luck with that. Wait! You're leaving me now? Alone? This is the end. My only friend, the end. The end. This is Chuck Nolan, live on Facebook. There's no place like CBS Radio. 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 Chuck, are you all right? We saw your Facebook Live video, and it worried us. Really? Somebody help him up. I lift him up by his waistband. No, no, that's okay, Joe. I got it, I got it. Sorry we abandoned you, Chuck, but you were starting to turn into a real raging asshole. Yeah, real prick. Yeah! We'll help you get the movie done, Chuck. Even if it does suck. <laughs> yeah. yeah! And I'm sorry I couldn't get you any big celebrities. All I could do was get Charles Lacordero to send you an inspirational message via Skype. Yeah! I'm still gonna give you wedgies, but understand, Chuck, it's just my way of saying that I value our friendship. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Chuck, I wouldn't be in this movie or any other movie unless you gave me a chance. I'll help you finish it. And I'm sorry I shorted out your car. You did that? And tried to poison you with a cookie. Well, at least you're honest. And tried to disable your anti-lock braking system and fed you that raw meat chili which gave you the tapeworm. So that's why I lost all this weight. Well, who's complaining? Uh, right down, everybody. I have a telegram for Chuck Nolan. It's from Mike Thomas all the way upstairs in his office. It reads... You're not making a movie. Stop. Oh. Your song just ended, and there's nothing on the air right now. Stop. Oh, God. Everyone involved in this project is subject to termination. Stop. Oh, what? 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 Just stop. Oh. Ah. So what do you say, guys? Let's finish this thing. Making a movie, nothing to it. 
When you have friends to help you through it Who needs a script? Who needs star power? Even if the notes I hit are sour Well, you hurt the boss. I gotta get back to work. Yeah, I, I got a higher rated show. I, right. I gotta go to. It's TJ. I see why you didn't go with my script. This is a much better idea. Yeah. yeah. See ya. Musical number? Maybe it is time you retire. And to think I once considered you my competition. <sighs> well, we did the best we could. I ask one thing of you. Please don't ever mention this to anyone. And if you screw up the ending of this movie, believe me, I will find you and I will kill you. Roll the red carpet out for me. Remember that you got in for free. My life's a lowbrow comedy. And what you get is what? Okay, cut. Print it. Well, that was a nightmare. Probably won't be walking the red carpet on that one. The plow guy, the vegetarians, the religious group. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What do we have here? Choco Taco Talk. <laughs> From the top. Okay. From the top. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Is that some sort of black and white market supplier? No, it's an ice cream. Ice cream! I did it! There you go. It's the mic stand. There you go. <laughs> Arby's, baby. Get us some Arby's right now. I went to acting school at the Boston Center for the Arts. Okay. What? What are you doing now, Chuck? Let me tell you something, man. I'm tired of We're your... We're done with your part. I'm tired of right? you coming down in our kitchen. I'm tired of you folding up napkins like you're an 85-year-old woman. I don't do that. I do this. These are napkins here. Yeah. I use them for tissues. Right. <laughs> You take them, you put them back. You gotta start recycling stuff, Chuck. Chuck Nolan sucks. <laughs> Do it again. You don't need to read those lyrics. You know those words. Look at me and say it. I have no memory at all. Really? Try it again. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Enjoy the ride and step inside. I really can't do it. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could step inside. Step inside. Let me do it again. Sorry. <laughs> you. We're not flashing back right now. Stop it. All right. <laughs> what's what's an Adolfo? <laughs> okay, one more time. Okay, but you have to be a little closer than that. I trust you. Right away. I wouldn't. When I take over the Phantom Gourmet, you're all out of here. Captain Love Cannon? What is it? <laughs> Captain <laughs> Love Cannon. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Asablanca? Oh. Okay, well, I stole that one from a porn movie, but I put a twist in the end. Ooh, go on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna come out and say it. What? I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. What? Well, 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 well. <laughs> <laughs> do that again. I'm just gonna come out and say it. Yeah. What? What? I can't. What? I can't. What? 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 I can't. You can't. You gotta do the one, 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 one. Tony, Tony, totally f 
nothing serious, no hints of humor in this at all. <laughs> all right. See, now you said that I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> you did this, Nolan! I'm gonna kill you, Nolan! Talk to the judge! I probably shouldn't have said. You did this, Nolan! I'm gonna kill you, I'm Nolan! Let's try that without Zolak, please. It's good to see it. Why you surprise me? Though. Why are you so jumpy? <laughs> Sorry. What the hell is going on in here? <laughs> I thought I told you that you're not making a movie. Look. <laughs> Stick to something that you're marginally good at, which is radio. And then I say something. Yes. <laughs> Time of death, half past a freckle. No, you He instigated it. You all saw for crying out loud. It's the 1920s. What's punk? Publicity. I heard it on Housewives or whatever the f There's a new Mr. Tambourine Maz in town. Me! Look, gloat all you want. <laughs> you sure got a pretty mouth, don't you? Never trust a man who carries a hairbrush in his back pocket. Mm -hmm. Now look that way. Yeah. This way, opposite way. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, how's it going, man? <laughs> a little bit more anger in your face if you can. A little more frustration. There's like a hint. Nobody's ever said that to me before. <laughs> <laughs> you ever watch Chuck TV? David's <laughs> good show? Oh, I love it. Uh, if you don't mind helping a brother out. Is he in the shot? Yes. Go! Go! You know who else laid on that? Zolak, and he may, he passes gas on that. Oh, I feel better now. All the time. I sit here and I hear these noises like, what the f Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back. What the hell are you doing? You're not making a movie!